The mystical girl Yi Lan arrived at Dolua Continent once and became a pitiful creature that Tang San had been sucking blood. The gods couldn't avoid it even if they were biased. First, demand a wave of experience points before seeking revenge. Encountering a thousand snows on the way, being kindly picked up and brought back to Tiendo City, doting on all the way. What Yi Lan didn't know was that everyone could hear her innermost thoughts, and from then on, she would never return on the path of spoilers. Woo woo, my bitter snow, you must be beautiful and strong, don't bring tragedy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, are all the seven major offerings of cannon fodder so handsome? Refuse cannon fodder and become gods together, starting from you and me. Hey, 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 isn't it just a martial soul empire? What's wrong with you giving her a chance? Night waves, waves that turn the tide. Saint of the Martial Soul Hall, twin martial souls with innate soul power, standing side by side with angelic gods. Under the moonlight, recite the names of gods in silence. Keywords of the novel Doluo After being read by the heart, he becomes a group pet of the Martial Soul Hall without a pop-dot-up window. Doluo After being read by the heart, he becomes a group pet of the Martial Soul Hall. Download the full text. Doluo. After being read by the heart, he becomes a group pet of the Martial Soul Hall. Latest Chapter Reading 1. Chapter 1. The Little Poor Man Who Was Swapped for Life and Breath. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1. The Little Poor Man Who Was Swapped for Life and Breath. I. I didn't mean to. It's not my fault either. If you want to blame it, blame Xiaowu. Right, right. When she regained consciousness, she only felt her body constantly sinking, and cold liquid poured in from her mouth and nose, bringing a strong sense of suffocation. Yi Lan was fortunate that she knew how to swim, calmed down her mind and balanced her body. Finally, she landed and completed her self-rescue before running out of energy. Having experienced drowning was already uncomfortable in her heart, and the extra memories in her mind made Yi Lan's teeth itch. Tang San. Twin brothers. Twin martial souls. Congenital full soul power. Tang Nan. Waste sister. Waste martial soul. Innate soulless power. What's the situation? My destiny hasn't changed either. I shouldn't even have relatives. How could I have a father or a twin brother who is so intimate? Yilan calculated her destiny and found that after crossing the river once, her destiny had not changed. She was destined to be the heavenly demon Lone Star, with five flaws and three deficiencies. It's strange to have relatives in this destiny. However, this time traveling is not entirely a bad thing. At least I made up for it. My soul, which has been damaged for over a decade, has finally come together. It's not easy. Yilan clapped her hands and stood up from the ground. Just as she celebrated the good news, she saw a boy running towards her quickly, shouting while running. Sister. Sister. The boy's speed was quite fast, and before Yilan could react, he held him tightly in his arms, making him even more weak. It's great that you're okay, sister. No, who are you? Don't misidentify your sister. His hand was quite strong, and Yilan struggled a lot before squeezing out of his arms. Subconsciously, he retorted. Shinswan Midnight Lan never doubted the results of her divination. She has no family in this world, and she doesn't know what kind of ghosts there are. Sister. What's wrong with you? Tang San looked at Yilan with some injuries, not understanding why his sister suddenly looked very indifferent. Stop, let me smooth it first. Yilan felt her mind was in chaos, so she stopped Tang San and planned to figure out how the familiarity came about first. Tang Hao. Tang San. Xiao Wu. Twin martial souls. Congenital full soul power. Yilan is about to explode. She finally knew where the familiarity came from. 
isn't this a character from Dolua Continent that she had been forced to look at after? Is she wearing a book now? No one told her that half of her missing soul could run into the book. No, where did Tang San get his sister? Yilan took two steps back and looked at the boy in front of her who was one head taller than her, intending to figure out what was going on. In a moment of clarity, the night waves fell like an ice cave, causing both physical and mental exhaustion and fainting. Change of life. Sees Chi. This is what Yilan saw. When conscious again, it is awakened by the sound of conversation. Third, I didn't mean to. I never expected them to take action against Tang Nan and even push him into the water. The girl's delicate and gentle voice sounded in her ear, with a pitiful expression. There was not much apology in her words, but rather a lot of coquettishness. Xiaowu, be good and don't feel uncomfortable. I know it's not your fault, it's all their fault. Even if I can't win against you as a little girl, it's okay. Surprisingly, I even went to take action against Xiao Nan. Tang San gently comforted Xiao Wu, afraid that she would blame herself. There was no blame at all. He knew it was Xiao Wu who went with his sister, deliberately provoking and scolding the senior students of Nodding College. He had a great time playing, but Tang Nan, who had no soul power, was left behind. He took the stolen soul coins and went to the cafeteria to buy delicious food. She has a rough mind and forgot about Tang Nan. She doesn't know what Tang Nan will experience if he is left behind. Who believes it? This kind of thing is not happening once or twice. Xiao San. You don't blame me. That's great. I'm so happy and happy. Of course I don't blame you, you're also my sister, and you didn't mean to. Just be happy, my heart hurts when I just cried. The two of them, one brother and one sister, seemed to be alone, and Yilan only wanted to fly up in place. You two better lock up for a lifetime and let me, this poor person, go, sister, are you awake? What? Tang San suddenly heard a familiar voice, but didn't understand what Tang Nan was saying, thinking he had heard it wrong. What kind of thing? Yilan didn't understand why Tang San was smoking, nor did she want to understand. She just wants to find a way to regain her luck from Tang San and reverse her destiny. Otherwise, if you continue to be sucked in like this, you will eventually be sucked dry. It's nothing. Tang San thought he had heard the wrong thing and when he saw his sister wake up, he instructed. You don't have soul power. You need to follow Xiao Wu well, so that you won't suffer like today. And then what? Yilan smiled daily and cursed in her heart. I almost died at the loss of taking a fart, you know. If I had a crush on my younger sister, I would just ignore everything. Isn't it that serious? Aren't you living well? Tang San instinctively retorted, only to realize that Yilan had not even opened his mouth, but that voice was indeed hers. Is this a heartfelt voice? You're all right, I'll listen to you. Yilan didn't refute at all, as always, she obediently listened to Tang San's words, but in fact, her heart was already in turmoil. Right, right, you're all right. If you're not dead, you're just living well, no problem, no problem. Tang San fell silent, and he was also slightly injured. He thinks he is very kind to Tang Nan, the younger sister. Dad suddenly ran away from home, and his seven-year-old child not only had to support himself, but also Tang Nan. Even in order to take better care of Tang Nan, he begged the teacher to take her to a good place like Nodding College, where he worked in the blacksmith's shop every day to earn soul coins to support her. Isn't that already good enough for her? Unexpectedly, she still played tricks in front of her and behind her back. If it weren't for suddenly hearing her voice, I wouldn't have known she had such a big grudge against me. What can't be said well? Tang San thought that he was an older brother and wanted to tolerate his younger sister, so he continued to earnestly advise. When I'm not at school, you should listen to Xiao Wu well and follow her closely. Xiao Wu is also our family, and she won't harm you. Brother also wants to protect you at all times, 
but he has to earn soul coins to support us. Can you understand brother's point the passive business owner Yilan didn't want to talk to Tang San and casually said. Yes. Of course I can. I can't understand why. Who is your family now? You're raising all the soul coins you earn. You have no idea who you're raising. What a joke. I'm clearly raising myself, okay. Indeed, Tang Nan did not receive much soul coins from Tang San before. Many of the soul coins earned by Tang San were subsidized to Xiao Wu, who was spending money recklessly. Tang Nan helped the students at Notting College to do some miscellaneous work and run errands, earning a meager living of soul coins. Tang San cannot be unaware of these. If Tang San had really raised her for two years, Yi Lan might have been lighter when she started at night. Unfortunately not. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Encountering the Unfortunate Xueqing River You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Encountering the Unfortunate Xueqing River, Yu Tang San claimed to be calm and composed, but almost lost his composure due to Yi Lan's inner voice. I secretly thought to myself that being the same sister, why is the difference so big? Xiao Wu is obedient and obedient, never making him angry, let alone saying such things in his heart. Perhaps it was because she had just fallen into the water and was stimulated that way. Tang San was very understanding and opened up the way for Yilan. You just fell into the water and need to rest well. Brother won't blame you. Yilan didn't want to talk to him, so she rolled up the blanket and pretended to be sleeping. Still not blaming me. Where did you get your face, bad luck? Yilan really felt unlucky and had a connection with Tang San. You should know that after being pinned down to read the entire book of Doloa Continent, the person that Yilan dislikes the most is Tang San, followed by Xiao Wu. The former is a hypocritical double standard, heartless and unjust. The latter was first reckless and foolish, causing harm to others and oneself. After resurrection, they completely lost their soul and became Tang San's pendant. I didn't expect to be associated with the person I hate the most once I travel through time. Tang San left with anger, and Xiao Wu glared at Yilan before following him. After the two of them left, Yilan finally came out of the bed and started preparing. Yilan has always disliked procrastination. After realizing that Tang San had taken away her life and energy, she couldn't bear it for a whole day and planned to snatch it back overnight. Because working class students only have one dormitory, Tang San Xiaowu still went back to the dormitory to sleep at night. Until everyone fell asleep, Yi Lan finally activated the sleeping formation she had set up during the day. Then he laid out a formation to rectify the chaos around Tang San. Although changing one's life and taking away one's anger is not under your control, it is only natural for me to return it if I change my life and take away one's anger. Yi Lan looked at the sleeping Tang San and said slowly. She is not a twin of a dragon or a phoenix with Tang San. She is just a baby girl with good luck, coveted by some people. During her infancy, she was bound to Tang San by means, becoming a blood supply for Tang San. In the early stage, her support was not yet apparent, and it would only gradually become apparent after she was sucked dry in the later stage. At that time, Tang San had already accumulated great fortune, and no one could think it would be detrimental to him. As Yilan spoke, she quickly took action and prepared to retrieve what belonged to her. But what she never expected was that it was not humans who took the initiative to save Tang San's life, but gods. What kind of deity is so devalued? Don't be any evil god. Yilan awkwardly wiped away the blood from her lips and glared fiercely at Tang San, even more so at a deity with a lower head. I don't believe it, why can't you? If she can't regain her life or her luck today, Yi Lan would rather die by hitting her head than continue to be sucked. She bit through her fingertips and began to draw ancient formations on the ground, using the blood from her fingertips and the moonlight shining outside the window. She also recited obscure spells in her mouth. The moon outside was unprecedentedly bright, 
almost turning night into day. The bright moonlight shone on Yilan, bringing her a mysterious radiance. Some lost things gradually return to Yilan's body with the moonlight. There is power to try to intervene, but it is isolated by the bright moonlight. I am still on the last line, worthy of the power of the gods. I cannot resist now, but that doesn't mean I will never be able to resist. When that day comes, it will be the time for me to take your life. Yi Lan looked at Tang San, who was still asleep. Ordinary people couldn't see it, but as a fortune teller, she could see that some of the light on Tang San's body had dimmed and returned to its original state. Taking a final glance at her enemy, Yi Lan turned around and left. She used the power of the moon this time to regain her luck and exchange her life. Originally, Tang San was killed directly to prevent future troubles. Just because he can take it once doesn't mean he won't take it again. But she can't move her hand. In order to protect Tang San, the evil god below left a hand and carved a ban on both of them. That's why Yilan cannot kill Tang San. At least she can't kill it. If she kills Tang San, it won't be Tang San who died, it will be her. Yilan was overwhelmed by the diaphragm and didn't want to stay here for even a minute. Starting tonight, there is no Tang Nan in the world, only Yilan. The night is deep and the moon is bright, the waves are turning the tide. After leaving Nodding City all the way, Yilan found a secluded and uninhabited place and summoned her useless martial soul, which everyone recognized as having zero soul power. Before looking at it, Yilan knew there was something fishy about it, and this was indeed true. A few thin and transparent threads appeared on her left hand, as if her martial soul was an ordinary thread. But Yilan knows it's not true. God knows how excited she felt when she saw these silk threads. What kind of silk thread is this? It's just a piano string. She was born into a declining mystical family now, with a divine artifact that had been missing for a long time, the Moonlight Kongho. The recorded strings are what they look like before our eyes. It seems that my martial soul has not fully awakened yet. The one in the martial soul hall is worthy of being jokingly called the Blind Dolua, pointing at the Blue Silver Emperor and saying, Deposed Martial Soul. He is also called, Deposed Martial Soul, when facing my half-awakened martial soul. I'm already past my age, where are I going to awaken my martial soul? Isn't there a kind-hearted person to help me? Sigh. Kind-hearted person, snow clears the river. I'm not a kind-hearted person, I just happen to pass by. Although I'm not in the martial soul hall, I still can't bear to see the wind criticism of the martial soul hall being harmed. I don't know which martial soul branch the person is from, but they can even make mistakes in the simplest martial soul awakening. It's really embarrassing for the martial soul branch. Who are you, a child from that family? Why did you suffer such a serious injury outside in the middle of the night? It's pitiful. Xue Qingha was drawn by the light attribute and followed the guidance of his martial soul to the vicinity of Nodding City. Unable to find the reason for the sudden brightening of the moon, he stumbled upon a somewhat interesting looking child. The child Yelan lifted her head and looked towards the place where the sound came from. That was a young man dressed in splendid attire, with a head of light golden hair, delicate and handsome features, gentle and noble temperament, seemingly a very ordinary young man. But Yilan dare not treat her as an ordinary person. At the first glance she saw the young man, she knew she was a very powerful person. Disguising herself as a man, she looks like a big shot, but her fate is not very good. Xue Qingha fell on Yilan with a scrutinizing gaze. She didn't say anything just now, so this is her inner voice. And, you can see her disguise at a glance, how could that be? Her disguise, the title Dolua, couldn't even penetrate. How did this child actually know? Is there a traitor in the martial soul hall who leaked her trail? When Xue Qingha was exploring Yilan, Yilan quickly noticed that the young man in front of her was a thigh that could be hugged and couldn't be missed. Immediately put on a pitiful expression and make sure to soften the other person's heart. I don't have a family, 
I don't have soul power to protect myself. I always get bullied and run away overnight. End of this chapter. Unprecedented Martial Souls Before Chapter 3 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Unprecedented Martial Souls Before Chapter 3 The pitiful voice of Yilan temporarily dispelled some doubts about Xuechingha. This is just a pitiful little one who looks at an eight or nine-year-old child, whose martial soul has not fully awakened and has no soul power at all. If someone really wants to deal with her, how could they send such a person over? It seems that this child has some opportunities. So pitiful. What Xue Qingha didn't want to admit was that she felt sympathy at the first sight of Yilan and immediately reached out to pull her up. However, how could you possibly not have soul power? In order to conceal her ability to hear the other person's feelings, Xue Qingha also put in a lot of effort. She pointed to Yilan's left hand and said. I just saw your martial soul, which looks a bit strange, but it doesn't look like it doesn't have innate soul power. Maybe it's not fully awakened. Would you like to try awakening again? I'll help you. It's just a small favor, and it's also very worthwhile to get something from the other person's heart after helping. I am willing. Thank you, beautiful brother. Brother is so kind. Yilan felt great joy in her heart. Where did the angel come from? It's too thoughtful, right? I like it. However, in the original book, this kind of bone fate line should not be an unknown person. My name is Yilan, the knight of the night, the lawn that can turn the tide. What is my brother's name? When asked about his name, Xue Qing has spat out his current name while observing Yilan's reaction. My name is Xue Qing River. Dot. The expression on Yilan's face froze. But my heart is already screaming uncontrollably. Short-lived Crown Prince Xueqing River. No, Xueqing River is already dead now, so this is. The cold light in Qianren Xue's eyes, who was wearing the skin of Xueqing River, appeared slightly, but in the next moment, it completely dissipated. This is my beautiful and miserable angel god. I actually saw someone alive. Unfortunately, what I saw was not the true face of Qian Rengshu, but I was still so excited. Ah. Xue Xue looked at me. Qian Ren Xue. There's no need to be so excited. Does this child, who has the chance to easily identify her background, seem to like her very much? Then observe and observe again. It's really cute, just like keeping a kitten. Come with me, Xia Oilin, I'll take you to awaken your martial soul. Qian Ren Xue grabbed Yi Lan's waist with one hand, and disguised her white wings spreading behind her, pure and soft. She brought Yilan to a martial soul branch hall and personally awakened her martial soul for Yilan, without allowing anyone to participate. As long as there are tools, it is very easy to awaken the martial soul for others. So Qian Renxue was surprised that Yilan's awakening of his martial soul three years ago was not successful, wasting three years in vain. She didn't know that at that time, Yilan was suppressed and her martial soul was not awakened at all. If it weren't for everyone in Dolua continent having martial souls, these few strings wouldn't have come out yet. Under the awakening ceremony, the martial soul on Yilan's left hand gradually revealed its true appearance. It was a moon-white harp, as if carved out of ice and snow, flowing with bright moonlight. Is this the true appearance of your martial soul? Is this a Kong Ho? Qian Ren Shue thought to himself, this Kong Ho is quite beautiful, and, is this the ultimate light attribute? At this moment, Qian Ren Shue couldn't help but be surprised. The martial souls with light attributes are already very rare, let alone the ultimate light. In this world, almost one genius is missing. It seems that we need to train those deacons who are responsible for awakening martial souls in various places again. Beautiful brother, why do I feel like my right hand is not right? Yilan pretended to be a child who didn't understand anything and asked for help with her right hand, which was shining golden light. This feeling. How do I feel like there's still a martial soul on my right hand? But what about something? 
why hasn't it come out for a long time? Looking at Yilan's right hand, the faint golden light appeared different, and Qian Renxue began to doubt herself. Is it so difficult for this child's martial soul to awaken? She is the young master of the martial soul hall and cannot even help people awaken their martial soul. It's hard to laugh to death if it spreads. Yi Lan is also very crazy. She just wants to awaken her martial soul well. Is it that difficult? Don't tell me, my hand is a martial soul Qian Renxue's eyes lit up suddenly, and she suppressed the shock in her heart and said in a calm tone as much as possible. Xia Oilin, perhaps you are one of the few twin martial souls in the world. This hand is your martial soul. Can hands also be martial souls? The night waves are incomprehensible. Yeah. How did I forget? There's also the saying, body martial soul. I heard that the more important the body martial soul is in the body, the more powerful it becomes. This is my right hand, so it should be. Quite important, right? This child knows everything but doesn't say anything, hiding everything in his heart and playing. Qian Renxue squeezed out a smile and said, neither angry nor arguing with the child. I'm not sure yet. I'll take you back to meet some elders in a while, and then I'll be sure. Qian Renxue touched Yi Lan's furry head, like a caring big brother. Okay, okay. Yi Lan nodded obediently, with a cute face full of blood. See elders. Is the elder of the Snow Archangel, the legendary guardian of the continent, the peerless Dolua, the most normal grand worship of the entire continent. However, Qian Renxue was so excited that she didn't even want to listen anymore because her voice was a bit loud in decibels. She indeed knows a lot of things. Let's test our innate soul power first, it won't be zero this time. Qian Renxue handed Yilan a crystal ball to test her soul power, perhaps because she noticed that it was the crystal ball she used to test her soul power twelve years ago. Gu Yilan smiled obediently and took the crystal ball, following Qian Renxue's instructions. The crystal ball instantly shone brightly and was completely filled. Is this innate full soul power? I have seen it once. No, it's not. Qian Renxue was somewhat silent and shocked. Ah! The cat was puzzled. You have innate soul power, which is level 20. It's not something that can be compared to innate full soul power. The only known innate soul power on the mainland is her, or is it because she awakened the divine bestowed martial soul of the six-winged angel? I didn't expect that she would awaken a second innate soul power with her own hands. Is this the reason why angels and gods guide us? Looking at Yilan, who was extremely happy because of awakening her innate soul power, Qian Renxue's heart couldn't help but soften. And the next voice of Yilan's heart opened a gap for Qian Renxue's heart. Twin martial souls, with innate soul power, it seems that my talent is quite good. So next, I need to work hard to cultivate and have enough strength to help Snow and rewrite her destiny. My family's snowy life is really too difficult, sobbing she said she wants to protect me. Let me protect you first, poor little one who just awakened his martial soul. Xiao Allen, each of your martial souls can absorb two soul rings at once. Which martial soul do you plan to cultivate first? End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Night Lantern Wants to Absorb Millennium Soul Rings You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 4 Night Lantern Wants to Absorb Millennium Soul Rings The warm sound of a thousand feet of snow echoed above Yilan's head. Yilan is very fond of gentleness, and her fondness for Qian Renxue has been lingering in her heart, no longer just facing a paper man. I want to first cultivate my Kong Ho martial soul. She always feels that there is something wrong with her body and martial soul. Yilan touched her hair and felt a bit embarrassed to say. The main body martial soul is too rare, so it's better to put it first. Your Kong Ho martial soul is also very rare, so it's not urgent to find the soul ring beforehand. First think about what route you plan to take. Fearing that Yilan might not understand, 
Qian Renxue thoughtfully explained various routes, including the strong attack, control, and auxiliary systems. Strong attack. I want to be a strong attack soul master. Yilan quickly made a decision that only the strong attack series can represent strength. Dolua continent, strength is paramount. The strong attack style is quite good. In a few days, I will take you to find the soul ring. Qianren Shue pulled her small hand, which was slightly cool overnight, and instinctively clenched it a bit, transmitting her body temperature. In fact, Yi Lan's current condition is very poor. Qian Ren Shue found out from the first time she held Yi Lan's hand that she was seriously malnourished and still feverish. It may have been because she was injured while escaping, with some bleeding excessively. She took Yi Lan to a hotel to stay, and asked him to go wash up first. After ordering her own dishes, she contacted Feng Dolua, who had been secretly protecting her. In the bathroom, Yi Lan looked at her somewhat comical self in the mirror, covering her face. How did she act coquettishly towards her house with this comical face? What a shame! But fortunately, this face is not much different from my face in modern times. After a good tidying up, it is still a cute little lowly. When Yi Lan came out to wash up, she saw an extra person in the room and instinctively took two steps back to go back to the bathroom. But Qian Renxue had already noticed her and waved at her. Xiao Allen, come here, don't be afraid. Too gentle, even knowing it was a false image, Yi Lan couldn't help but walk towards Qian Renxue. This is one of my elders who specializes in protecting me and won't harm you. Hmm. Yi Lan nodded obediently. Fortunately, the Wulin Hall has dimmed some, but not many. Just a little. I don't know who put forward the idea of letting Shue Shue come to Tiendo Empire as an undercover. Why not come by himself? This person who protects Snow and Snow seems to be a Tidal Doluo. With so many Tidal Doluo in the Martial Soul Hall, I don't know which one it is. Thinking of this, Yi Lan became angry. The book that had previously written the Tidal Doluo was so precious, coupled with the fact that only the two titles of Giju Dolua appeared in the early and middle stages, she had always thought that there were only two titles of Dolua in the Martial Soul Hall. However, later on, she actually told her that there were a pile of one, two, three, four, five, and six titles of Dolua in the Martial Soul Hall. So many Dolua titles are all for soy sauce. Absolutely deadly. Qian Renxue is losing her mind due to Yi Lan's voice. In fact, up to now, Qian Renxue doesn't know whose idea it was for her to come to the Tiendo Empire as an undercover agent. Her father who died early. A reclusive grandfather. Or perhaps listening to Yi Lan's voice, making her become an undercover agent seems like a wrong decision. There is still a little distance from the Star Forest here. We can slowly walk that way to find the first and second soul rings for you. You don't have to worry about safety, Uncle Shilong will protect us. Qian Renxue looked to reassure Yilan, but in fact, she was testing Yilan's inner voice. Anyway, her identity is with Yilan, it's no longer a secret. Shilong. Is the martial soul the one with the snake spear? The unlucky guy with a title Dolua folded on a mere soul Dolua. Yelan suddenly felt a chill above her head and moved towards Qian Ren Shue. Holding Yi Lan's hand and playing with it, Qian Ren Shue's gaze was deep. From the moment when Shi Long's breath leaked out, it seems that Yi Lan had some thoughts just now, but because it was not aimed at her but at Shi Long, only Shi Long was heard. She was a little curious about what Yi Lan's voice had said, which made even the title Dolua in the hall unstable. Then she spoke to Shi Long and asked, and upon receiving the answer, Qian Ren Xue was also surprised. You fell into the hands of a soul Doluo. That's really unlucky. Young master, this is just a little girl's nonsense, you can take it seriously. Shi Long is a hundred unbelievers. There is a rift between the title Doluo and the soul Doluo. How could he possibly fall on one soul Doluo? Although I don't know why, the voice of this girl named Yilan has a high level of credibility. 
Uncle Shilong should also be careful when dealing with weaker people. Qian Renxue is more convinced of Yilan's words, and from the current perspective, there is no harm in believing one letter. Asterisk asterisk considering that Yilan's body was not suitable for long dot distance travel, she walked and stopped all the way, finally arriving at the Starry Forest, the top gathering place for soul beasts. There are the most soul beasts in the world here, and you can definitely find the soul ring that suits you. As he spoke, Qianren Shue pulled the night waves and walked into the starry forest. The most suitable lifespan for the first soul ring is around 400 years, but you have an innate soul power of level 20, and your physical strength is stronger at 9 years old than at 6 years old. The lifespan can be appropriately extended. Although I initially thought about using it, seeing Qian Rengxu's level of dedication towards Yilan now, some things have already changed. Brother Shue, I want to try the Millennium version of my first soul ring. I think I can. Yilan presented her own opinion. Shocked to the surprise of Qian Renxue and the secretly following Shilong, I didn't expect Yilan's tone to be so loud. The lifespan of both the first and second soul rings should be a hundred years. If you want the first soul ring for a thousand years, it's a bit too urgent, Xiao Alan. Qian Renxue explained with a good temper. But Yilan is very stubborn. I am aware of my own body, and I can really absorb Millennium Soul Rings as the first soul ring, especially at night. Yilan hasn't done nothing these days either. She is the darling of the moon. She has already taken the back door from the moon and increased her physical strength a lot. It is not difficult to absorb the Millennium Soul Ring. If she absorbs it at night, it will be even easier. Yi Lan's words were too firm. Thinking of her special abilities and martial soul, Qian Renxue finally agreed. Then choose it at night. The soul beast selected to be the first soul ring of the night lantern is just over a thousand years old. It is a frost roaring sparrow, shining with frost white all over its body, combining ice and light elements. When attacking, it will confuse enemies with its singing. It's really perfect for Yilan. In the title Dolua of Shilong, he easily solved the frost singing sparrow. Under the guidance of Qian Renxue, Yilan gave it a fatal blow, and a purple soul ring floated out. Xiao Alan, why don't we change to a soul beast? Qian Renxue was a bit worried. It was already very dangerous to absorb soul rings at higher levels, not to mention adding so many. There has never been a record on the mainland where the first soul ring is a thousand years old. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 The First and Second Soul Rings of Night Lantern You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 The First and Second Soul Rings of Night Lantern tell her not to worry. I really can, Brother Shue believes me. The bright moonlight shone on Yilan, casting a mysterious glow on her. Suddenly, Qian Renxue's worries dissipated. Uncle Shilong, if there's anything wrong later, please interrupt her. Living is more important than anything else. Qian Renxue only wants Yilan to live well. Yilan's small figure sat next to the body of Frost Singing Sparrow, with a Kong Ho resembling moonlight in front of her. Her purple soul ring was drawn to her own martial soul. Absorbing Millennium Soul Rings is not an easy task. But Yilan wants to put in a fight. Tang San is protected by the Divine Realm and adorned with the aura of the male protagonist, the son of Qi. If he doesn't fight hard, when will he be Tang San's opponent, when will he be able to break free from the final shackles, kill the Divine Realm, and seek revenge? Tang San and Yilan still have the last layer of shackles. That is, the injury Tang San suffered will backfire on Yilan's body. That is to say, where did Tang San suffer? Yilan will also be injured, and correspondingly, Tang San's injury will recover much faster. If it weren't for this, Yilan would have been able to eliminate Tang San in minutes. But it's not entirely impossible. As long as Tang San's male lead aura is weakened to a certain extent, Yilan can break free from this shackle and kill Tang San. 
revenge for all these years. With such a belief, Yi Lan's willpower became stronger and stronger. No matter what physical and mental torment the power of the Millennium Soul Ring brought to her, she could persevere. Exercising my body over and over again. The moonlight gently sprinkled on Yi Lan's body, giving her all her favor. The pain on my body seemed to be instantly soothed, and my whole body was filled with strength. At this moment, Qian Renxue finally released her tightly clenched fist. Yi Lan succeeded. She created miracles on the continent. The first soul ring successfully absorbed the millennium soul ring. At this moment, Qian Renxue's happy mood infected Qi Long, silently elevating the importance of Yi Lan a few times. Congratulations to Xiao Alan, congratulations on creating a miracle. Looking at Yi Lan who was looking towards me, his face was full of words praising me quickly, and Qian Renxue didn't hesitate to praise me. I don't know what Xiao Alan's first soul skill is, this is the first millennium first soul skill. Yi Lan didn't hide it from Qian Renxue, so she directly demonstrated her first soul skill to the empty space next to her and explained. My first soul skill is called ambush from ten sides. Yi Lan plucked the strings a few times, and beautiful and passionate music poured out. Ten dazzling beams of light flew out of her Kong Ho, dividing it into ten directions. East, south, west, north, southeast, southwest, northeast, northwest, up and down, creating a space with no way to escape, and then quickly contracting. There is nothing trapped inside, and if there is, it may be cut into pieces. Ten pillars of light are ten sharp strings with good cutting power. Moreover, cutting is according to my heart. If I don't cut, it's a binding control soul skill. How strong is it? Qian Renxue asked, this is quite important. Not weak, I feel that currently dealing with great soul masters below level 30 is not a difficult problem. Moreover, as my soul power increases in the later stages, it will also gradually increase. Let's give it a try. How could she long let Qian Renxue risk his life? In the end, it was their title Dolua who put down his body in Triji Lan's first soul skill, and reached the same conclusion. It's truly a millennium soul skill, and the effect is similar to what she said. The first soul ring is already extraordinary in power, and the second soul ring is naturally not ordinary. It's just that soul beasts with light attributes are not easy to find. Yilan can naturally absorb soul beasts with other attributes, but the light attribute is most suitable for her to absorb and is also the easiest for her to absorb. Moreover, the rare light attribute soul beasts also represent their preciousness, providing stronger soul skills for Yilan. Qian Renxue is very patient, and Yilan is not in a hurry. The absorption of soul rings is the same at any time, without hindering the accumulation of soul power. But it seems there's something urgent. Yi Lan looked at the beautiful and dazzling flowers in front of her and thought. This is a large plant that is about two meters tall. It should not appear in front of Yilan, which is a plant on land, because it is a water lily. The full moon white water lilies bloom under the moonlight, emitting a faint light. This large water lily revealed its most vulnerable part towards the night lantern, with petals drifting down layer by layer, gently surrounding the night lantern. How could a soul beast sacrifice? Qian Renxue looked at Yi Lan incredulously, this was the first time she had seen such a scene. Soul beast sacrifice can be easily absorbed over time, regardless of the strength of Yi Lan or the age of this plant. Based soul beast. At the moment when the soul ring first appeared, it was clearly a rare light blue color. Later, it was shaped into purple and absorbed by the night lantern officially becoming the second soul ring of the Night Lantern Moonlight Kong Ho Martial Soul. Bring a powerful attack soul skill to Yilan. The second soul skill, Lotus Blade. By plucking the strings, each note transforms into a moon-white petal, with a metallic texture and exceptional sharpness. This has strong attack power, but it does not consume much soul power and can withstand long-term attacks. 
Yilan still likes this soul skill very much, truly worthy of being the soul beast who voluntarily sacrificed it. While possessing excellent soul skills, it also comes with an external soul bone as a bonus. Surprisingly, she hung up like Tang San, I'm afraid she's not supporting her. Congratulations on becoming a great soul master. Nine-year-old soul master, this talent is second only to himself, Qian Renxue thought with pride. You have absorbed two soul rings over the level, so your soul power should have increased by more than one level. Of course. Yi Lan slightly raised her chin, her little figure extremely proud, with a confident smile on her face, full of energy. I'm already at level 25 now, how's it going? I didn't embarrass Brother Shui, did I? Level 25 soul power, surpassing the current Tang San in one fell swoop, and Yi Lan was quite satisfied. Xiao Allen is really amazing. Qian Rengxu felt a slight itching in her hand and wanted to rub the furry cerebellum in front of her. After holding back for a while, she still reached out her hand. When I realized it, I had already rubbed it several times. I wanted to take it back, but I felt like my palm had been rubbed. So I continued to rub it a few more times, and the feeling was really good. I have something even more powerful. Besides the soul ring, this soul beast has also brought me other skills. Yilan had no intention of concealing anything, but spoke out directly. Anyway, the external soul bone obtained from the sacrifice had already fused with her to death. Other skills, are they soul bones? Qian Renxue did not expect Yilan to have such luck. Not only did some soul beasts offer sacrifices voluntarily, but also soul bones that others could easily possess. It seems so. As she spoke, Yilan demonstrated her soul bone skills to Qian Renxue. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Soul Bone Skill, Old Dream You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Soul Bone Skill, Old Dream The moon white lotus petals grew from behind the night waves and quickly covered her whole body, as if wearing a dress made of petals. With the appearance of petals, there is also a strange fragrance. Subconsciously, Yi Lan took a few steps back from Qian Renxue and retrieved the skill of her soul bone before approaching Qian Renxue again. The petal-shaped skirt just now should be a defensive skill that can withstand attacks, right? The Qian Renxue Si Cableway indicates that this skill is quite good and can provide some protection for the Night Lantern. Just, it seems more than that. But what happened just now, why did you suddenly run away? That's a passive skill of soul bones, I can't control it yet. Yilan said with some embarrassment and added. The skill is called Old Dream. As long as someone smells a fragrance and has a persistent mind, they will fall into it. How long they can break free depends entirely on their own willpower. The longer they fall into it, the more severe the damage to their spiritual strength. Although I don't know if snow and snow will be affected, I don't want to harm snow and snow, even if it's just a glimmer of possibility. Apart from the initial shock, Yi Lan's inner voice always makes Qian Renxue's heart soft. It has been some time since I left Tiendo City. After taking the soul ring with Yi Lan, Qian Renxue should return to Tiendo City. However, she hesitated about where Yi Lan would go. She wanted to bring Yi Lan back to Tiendo City, but her side was not safe either and staying with her in Tiendo City was not a good choice for a genius like Yilan. Xiao Allen, have you ever heard of the Martial Soul City? Qian Renxue asked tentatively. But Yilan is not a real nine-year-old child, so she can naturally understand the meaning in her words. I haven't heard of it before. Yilan only wants to follow Qian Renxue. She can go to the Martial Soul Hall anytime. Accompanying Qian Renxue is her true thought in her heart. In the world of Dolua Continent, Yi Lan's favorite character is Qian Renxue, and she can be said to have come for Qian Renxue. There's nothing easy to go to the Martial Soul City. Follow Shue Shue and you'll see it sooner or later. I want to see what kind of life you're living in the next ten years Qian Renxue had been lurking in the Heavenly Dou Empire since she was over nine years old, 
and was only exposed by Tang San when she was almost thirty years old. She returned to the Martial Soul Hall and spent the remaining twenty years writing in just a few short sentences. But Yi Lan wants to know more. Seeing that Qian Rengxu remained silent for a long time, Yi Lan thought that Qian Rengxu still had no intention of sending her to the Martial Soul Hall, and immediately pretended to be foolish and coquettish. Is Brother Shui going to drive me away? I want to be by Snow's side. Snow, stay with me. I'm very capable. Please, Brother Shui. Pulling Qian Rengxu's clothes is like acting coquettishly, successfully softening Qian Rengxu's heart. It's just that. Left and right are just children, can't they still protect them? Okay, then you can go back to Qindo City with us first. Qian Renxue ultimately followed Yi Lan's heart and returned to Tiendo City with her. Tian Duching, is this the place where Xue Xue stayed for nearly twenty years, but ultimately failed and left in a state of embarrassment? There are still ten years left, and I should be able to change her fate trajectory. It seems that all my efforts will be in vain in ten years. Who knows what will happen in ten years? The winner of the battle is still unknown. Asterisk asterisk, Jindo Royal Academy. That's the academy where your younger brother stayed. I don't want to go. I can read and learn by myself. After getting familiar with Qian Renxue, Yi Lan spoke more casually and gradually revealed her true nature. When Qian Renxue proposed to arrange for her to enter the Tiendo Royal Academy, she directly expressed her refusal. The atmosphere of aristocratic colleges is sometimes not good, because the students inside are recruited based on their status, and the quality is uneven, with fierce competition between different factions. Yi Lan, a person with weak strength and no status, only entered the Tiendo Royal Academy by following the path of Prince Xueqing River. Regardless of which side he was on, he would be excluded. I'm not afraid they will target me, but I feel it's unnecessary. Although I can solve them, it will take a lot of time, which is not cost-effective. It's better to take advantage of this time to practice more and improve soul power. At this moment, Yi Lan just finds it troublesome. As someone who is not good at socializing, she doesn't understand what she will gain from entering the Tiendo Royal Academy. Alan, how could you not go to school? Qianren Shue gently comforted Yelan, more attentively than when facing Princess Shueka. There are still some soul masters at the Tiendo Royal Academy who are about your age. You can make friends. As for your identity, you are my person and hold the title of Imperial Viscount, so you are not inferior. Me, Viscount. Yilan pointed at her nose in disbelief and asked, she has only been in Tiendo City for two months now, and has she become a Viscount? I know it's easy to be a Viscount in the Heavenly Do Empire, but I didn't expect it to be so easy. That's right, it's you. As the crown prince of a country, how can you not have some vassals? I still have the right to request some ordinary titles. Qian Renxue's current situation in Tiendo City is actually not good. She disguised herself as the crown prince of the empire, Suiking, and thus bore the risks and difficulties that this identity would entail, which every crown prince would face. Brother Shui is so kind to me. The title of Viscount is not the most precious, but the intention it represents is priceless, enough to make Yi Lan happy for a long time. The word friend mentioned by Qian Ren Shui also changed Yi Lan's mind and agreed to enroll in the Tiendo Royal Academy. I will register for the Tiendo Royal Academy tomorrow. Although the students at the Tiendo Royal Academy are of varying qualities and have many mediocre talents, there are still a few talented individuals, such as Dugu Yan and Yu Tianheng. Give it a try, and maybe you can also connect with Shue Shue. If you can't, you won't be at a disadvantage other people, Yi Lan is not sure, but Dugu Yan still has some. The poison that Tang San can detoxify, Yi Lan doesn't think she can't detoxify it. Upon hearing the voice of Yi Lan, Qian Renxue's hand in handling political affairs stopped. After leaving the worship hall, she felt this warmth for the first time. It was really nice to have someone always keeping themselves in their heart. But she really wants to say that she doesn't need Yi Lan to do this. 
She just wants Yilan to have some friends and not be so lonely anymore. The Tiendo Royal Academy only admits aristocratic children, and with the word royal added, it is naturally luxurious and can be said to be the best teaching resource in the entire Tiendo Empire. Standing in the classroom of the Tiendo Royal Academy, Yilan thought that she should also have some halo on her body. Otherwise, how could it be so coincidental to be in the same class as Du Guyen, Yu Tianheng, and others? The homeroom teacher was Qin Ming, an outstanding graduate of Shrek College. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 The Royal Academy of the Heavenly Dou engages in a battle with Yu Tianheng. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 the Royal Academy of the Heavenly Dou engages in a battle with Yu Tianheng classmates, today a new student has transferred to our class. Now, let's ask the new student to introduce themselves by name, age, martial soul, and soul power. Qin Ming gave a simple lead and gave the home court to Yilan. Every new student who comes here will experience this, no matter where they are. Yilan, 9.year.old, martial soul moonlight Kong Ho, Soul Power Level 25 Yilan was wearing a moon white flower bud skirt carefully prepared by Qianren Shui, with golden wheat ear hair clips pinned between her hair. Her pure black hair and pure black pupils looked like a small white flower waiting to bloom, beautiful and harmless. He looked so easy to bully that he immediately had a prick jumping out. Did you make a mistake? You even need to make a rough draft when boasting, okay? At the age of only nine, you dare to think that you are a level 25 soul master, but innate full soul power is not like this. In three years, your soul power has increased by 15 levels, how could it be? That's right. Little sister, you might have come to the wrong class. This is assigned by the college, not necessarily because it was divided incorrectly. It should be someone who deliberately said the wrong age and soul power, so that we can praise her talent. The person who dances the most happily is often someone who is not very good. At least, although Du Guyen, Yu Tianheng and others also expressed doubts about Yilan's soul power and age, they only frowned and did not speak. They believed that no one would tell such an instant lie. Quiet. Qin Ming stood up as the class teacher, maintaining discipline and correcting Yilan's name. Yilan was indeed assigned to our class with the soul power of the great soul master, which only indicates that Yilan's talent is good. Some people still don't believe it. Yilan was getting annoyed and couldn't hold back. Does this prove that I am the great soul master? Yilan proved the soul power of her great soul master in the simplest and most brutal way. Just activate the martial soul and activate the soul ring. The moonlight Kong Ho in my arms is beautiful and I dot catching, but it is not as I dot catching as the two halos under Yilan's feet. Is this brilliant purple a real existence? Some people thought they were mistaken, rubbed their eyes, and found that the two purple soul rings were still there. This not only showcases the strength of the night lawn soul master, but also. Qin Ming was also surprised by the soul ring ratio of Yilan. I didn't expect to see such a genius outside Shrek College. Such a genius was wasted at the Tiendo Royal Academy. Now, can I find a seat to sit down? Yilan's voice became much gentler, and she was quite satisfied with the current situation. The sight that fell on her also had certain benefits for her. A person who has been living under the spotlight for a long time is the protagonist, with its own halo. Sure, there happens to be a vacancy there. Qin Ming pointed to the only empty spot in the classroom, the third row facing the window. There happened to be people around who could call by name. The person that Yilan could recognize at a glance was the girl in front of her on the left, with red hair and green eyes, and Du Guyen. From the atmosphere between her and the boy next to her, it can be inferred that the boy on her right is Yu Tianheng. Behind Du Guyen was also Yilan's desk mate, with the coldest face in the entire classroom. Yilan guessed that she was Yilingling, the nine-hearted begonia Yilan just sat down and started attending class. The class was not long, 
and the curious gazes she frequently cast at her Meiji Lan uncontrollably put on a cold face from her desk mate during the class. After class, the inquisitive gaze became even more wild. Yilan felt that if it weren't for the presence of Dugu Yan and others around her, they would have come up early. There are still three or four years left until the competition in the Seoul field of Soto City. I don't know how high the level of Dugu Yenyu's constant soul power is now. It should be not far from level 30. It's outrageous to think that a team above level 35 would lose to a team composed of four soul masters and three great soul masters, with an average soul power of only level 30. They lost so miserably. It was clear that at that time, Yu Tianheng was almost level 40 alone Yelan always felt that Shrek's seven monsters were hanging too big. Dai Mu, Bai Ma, Hong Jun, and others can easily defeat soul masters with similar strength. It was the turn of other soul masters, but surprisingly, their cars had lower energy than themselves, and many of them couldn't win. What three or four years? What lost? Who's talking nonsense? When the voice first sounded, Dugu Yen and Yu Tianheng thought they had hallucinations, but they heard such inexplicable words. But soon, they found that the voice was somewhat familiar and had only heard it recently. So they turned their heads to look at Yilan. At this moment, Yilan was holding her head with one hand and looking out the window, lost in thought. So Dugu Yen and Yu Tianheng discovered that even though Yilan's mouth was tightly closed and not open, they could clearly hear the voice belonging to Yilan coming out. Sigh, it feels like Dugu Yen and Yu Tianheng were used as stepping boards to slip away, but I don't have any evidence. Dugu Yan's hair color and pupils are beautiful, but surprisingly, the poison is not light. It is easy to detoxify. Just saying that you are poisoned for no reason and I want to help you detoxify will be suspected. Do you want to make a condition? Yilan was not so kind-hearted, and just when she came, she wanted to detoxify Dugu Yen. It's all to seize Tang San's opportunity and weaken his male lead aura. If Tang San were caught by Dugu Bo and faced a pair of grandpa and grandson who showed no signs of poisoning and had rid themselves of their martial soul defects, would he still have any good luck? Speaking of Dugu Bo, why don't we solve it together? It should be easier to negotiate terms. But how can we make them believe me? Dugu Yen was so shocked in his heart that he couldn't speak, and he relied solely on his willpower to suppress him without losing his composure. She didn't believe in Yilan's voice. Her grandfather is a tidal dolo. How could this world be toxic and difficult for him? What nonsense! But what if it's true? Even with a probability of one in ten million, Dugu Yen dared not gamble. In the afternoon training class, Yilan noticed that Dugu Yen had taken leave. Remove the auxiliary soul masters with no combat power, and there are still exactly 12 students left. For the next hour, you can team up in pairs and compete with each other, but remember, you can point to each other. As Qin Ming finished speaking, some people were overjoyed and others were worried. Yilan doesn't know anyone except Yu Tianheng, and she's having a headache trying to find someone to spar with. Yushenheng actually found her. Yilan, it seems that we are both alone, why not make do with it? Yu Tianheng bravely approached Yilan. Originally, for such a course, his regular partner was Dugu Yen, but this time Dugu Yen suddenly took a leave, so he had no partner left. I had to find Yilan, who was also alone. Although it felt a bit like bullying the child, Yu Tianheng said he would keep his hands on it. Okay. Yilan looked at it and indeed agreed, as Yu Tianheng had said. In the original book, Dai Mubai took three years to level 25 to 37, while Yu Tianheng took a longer time to level 29 to 39, which should be reasonable. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Overcoming Victory You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Overcoming Victory The students in this class are all great soul masters, and Yu Tianheng's soul power is not much higher. Yu Tianheng Martial Soul Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex, Level 29 Strong Attack Series Soul Master. Night Lawn, 
Martial Soul Moonlight Kong Ho, Level 25 Strong Attack Soul Master. It's just a difference of level 4 soul power, and her two soul rings are not beautiful in purple. With the exchange of soul power between both sides, it is time to activate the martial soul. Yu Tianheng is a beast martial soul, and the step of possessing the martial soul is much slower. Yi Lan directly attacked without talking about martial arts. The first soul ring flickered, and the strings were quickly lightly plucked two or three times. The stirring melody flowed out of the fingertips, and ten pillars of light flew out from the strings, heading towards the Jade Heavenheim. At this moment, Yu Tianheng had just completed his martial soul possession and quickly used his first soul skill, Thunder Dragon Claw, to counterattack. But his Thunder Dragon Claw can only deal with one pillar of light, and Yi Lan's ten-sided ambush is really attacked by ten pillars of light. He only scattered the front side, while the other nine sides quickly surrounded him. Moreover, as the beam of light approached, they crossed each other and filled in many gaps in the front. Only those with extremely agile figures could escape from it. Even though the sharpness of the light pillar had not completely tightened, Yu Tianheng could feel it. At this moment, it was obviously too late to use the first soul skill. Yu Tianheng immediately used the second soul skill Thunderbolt. Countless snake electricity coiled around Yu Tianheng's body magnified at the same time, and in the next moment, it had transformed into countless lightning arrows flashing out in all directions, colliding with Yi Lan's first soul skill and bursting into sparks, which looked quite beautiful. Paired against each other, the pillar of light and the arrow of lightning disappear simultaneously. But Yu Tianheng thought that he had already lost the competition. In the crisis of ambush on all sides, he instinctively exerted all his strength, completely forgetting his initial intention to stay behind. Moreover, Yi Lan has only used her first soul skill to this day. I lost this sparring. Yu Tianheng recognized the defeat with great grace, but he did not intend to end the sparring like this. There was still a long time left until Qin Ming gave him the chance. But I think Yi Lan should want to continue to compete with me and see how strong he is. This was indeed Yi Lan's idea. She nodded and showed a cute smile. The pear vortex was shallow and extremely cute. Please show all your strength, don't show mercy to me just because I'm younger and a girl. Just now, Yushenhang kept his hand, which was why he was so easily suppressed by her. But Yi Lan still wants to know her true combat power, and Yu Tianheng is a good experimental subject. Okay. The best way to respect your opponent is to give it your all, Yu Tianheng agreed and said. Be careful. He launched his attack again, and his first soul skill, Thunder Dragon Claw, charged straight towards Yi Lan's face. This time, Yu Tianheng is the first to attack, and his first soul skill is very targeted, facing straight ahead. Facing the first soul skill, Yi Lan still used the first soul skill, but it was against herself. She can control the beam of light to surround herself, but does not harvest or attack inside. Staying inside her soul skills is no different from outside, so much so that it feels like adding a layer of protection to herself, blocking Yu Tianheng's thunder dragon claw from outside. Can it still be like this? Yu Tianheng said that he has learned it and it is the first time he has seen the use of non-auxiliary soul skills on himself, and he has done quite well. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Angels and Gods Just Need to Be Unique and Beautiful You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Angels and Gods Just Need to Be Unique and Beautiful To his surprise, several melodies rang out, and the pillars of light surrounding Yilan suddenly scattered. If you are surrounded, it is a good choice to counterattack directly like this. But this is a duel, and Yilan's only opponent is Yu Tianheng. So the light pillars all turned in one direction and headed towards Yushenheng. Along the way, the nine light pillars merged into one, solidifying a lot and containing much stronger attack power. Yushenheng did not avoid it, but instead used his second soul skill to welcome him. It can only be said that the Millennium Soul Ring is truly a Millennium Soul Ring. Yu Tianheng didn't even force Yi Lan's second soul skill, and the sparring ended. 
both sides drew. The reason is that both of their soul power has been depleted at the same time. This sparring, due to the lack of genuine attention from classmates, resulted in such a draw. But discerning people can tell that the winner is Yilan. A new student who enrolls for one day. A girl under 10 years old. Defeated Yu Tianheng, who had been holding the top position in their class for many years. For a moment, no one in the class dared to provoke Yilan. I didn't expect to be able to stand firm so easily by defeating the first place in the class. Yi Lan's mood is quite good. Carrying a small gift, he embarked on the road back to the Heavenly Do Palace. And this good mood disappeared when I saw a handsome young man next to Qian Rengshu. At first glance, this man looks quite good. Looking. Second glance, stop it. Let go, let go. Stay away from my house in the snow and snow, damn it. Shue Shue is quite happy. My jade cabbage won't be attacked so quickly, will it? Snow and snow. You need to be more sober. The angel god only needs to be beautiful. Even if it's not the son of the enemy, it can't touch you, ah. Yilan screamed in her heart as she ran towards Qian Renshue, throwing tantrums. She fought with the young man with white hair, and her breath was unstable. Qian Renshue instinctively reached out to rub Yi Lan's messy hair, smiling warmly. So why are you in such a hurry? The young man with white hair was surprised by the sudden emergence of a little carrot head, and in the next second, Qian Renshue gave him a new shock one after another. How long has it been since he saw Xiao Xue so gentle and heartfelt? This little carrot head has something. The young man with white hair was shocked by him. Qian Renxue thought of the voice she heard and quickly introduced it to Yilan. You happen to be back when an elder came to visit me. Let me introduce you. It's an elder. Yilan's suspended heart immediately relaxed, but the next second, her heart immediately lifted again. Elder. Who else can the elders of Qian Renxue have? Aren't they all some title Dolua from the Martial Soul Hall? This looks so young and handsome, isn't it the person she thinks? The introduction of Qian Renxue made Yi Lan's heart hanging dead. Don't be fooled by his appearance, in fact, he's already over 80 years old. I'll call him Fifth Grandpa, and just call Xiao Alan the same as me. The young man in white, also known as Qian Rengxu's fifth grandfather, was still surprised by Qian Rengxu's behavior of treating Yilan as his own and telling her everything. Suddenly, a girl's scream came to his ears. Ah! Oh my goodness! It's really him! The most beautiful man in the martial soul hall, Guangling Doluo. He's beautiful and strong, this is the dream lover of many girls. Unfortunately, his fate is not good, not much worse than my family's snow and snow. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Shocked Like Feather. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Shocked Light Feather This is all in a mess. How can one still speak even if their mouth is not open? Isn't this the transmission of divine knowledge? Although Guangling roast about Yelan's heart, in fact, he was quite popular. Some people praised him for his beauty and strength. However, Qian Renxue was struck by the sentence, Unfortunately, my fate is not bad, and it's not much worse than my family's snow and snow. Her tragic ending is nothing more. Grandpa Wu is a peerless Dolua, how could he end up in a bad situation? Is there a good ending for her martial soul hall? What kind of powerful enemies did the future martial soul hall encounter? Qian Renxue's days was soon pulled back by Yi Lan's soft and cute voice, pretending to be obedient. Hello Grandpa Wu, my name is Yi Lan, and I am the child that Brother Shue picked up. Yi Lan was showing her most obedient and sweet smile, pretending to be obedient with her softest and cutest voice. Qian Rengxu knew she was nervous and a bit funny when she saw her hands constantly playing with the waist chain. Yes, this is the child I picked up a very well-behaved and caring child. Qian Renxue held Yi Lan's hand, which was beginning to grow flesh, and followed her words. 
They all call me, Grandpa, it seems like giving some gifts is the right way to meet them. I don't know what little girls like, but here, take this and buy it yourself. Guangling remembered that Qian Rengshu had never given the right gift when he was a child, so he decided it was better to give soul coins. Money is omnipotent, so he stuffed a gold card into Yilan as a meeting gift. It's just a few hundred thousand gold soul coins, just keep the current pocket money for Xiao Alan. Qianren Shui saw the look of Yilan seeking help from him, looking a bit embarrassed to accept it. She thought to herself, where is this? She asked Yilan to take away the gold card. Grandpa Wu, this greeting gift is a bit light, it doesn't fit your identity. Qian Renxue asked for the meeting gift on behalf of Yilan, and Guang Ling was not only not angry but also very happy. Did you suddenly not bring anything good with you when you didn't come? When you both come home together, I will definitely make up for it for Xiao Alan. This way, everything will be finished. When it comes to going home, thinking of the Marshall Soul Hall, Qian Renxue's expression is not right. All right, Alan, thank Grandpa Wu for the gift first. When I go back with Brother Xue, don't forget. Yi Lan quickly responded. As she spoke, she also shook Qian Renxue's arm and spoke happily, Thank you, Brother Xue. Happiness can be contagious, and the annoyance in Qian Renxue's heart immediately dissipates. Grandpa Wu, you're here. Can you help me take a look at Alan's martial soul? Thinking of Yi Lan's special second martial soul, Qian Renxue felt a bit worried. You are quite concerned about this little girl's matter. Guang Ling looked at Yi Lan with great interest and didn't find anything special about her. It's just a bit cute, it's a bit short. She is also very attentive to me. Qian Renxue continued, I almost forgot to say that what I asked you to help me see is Alan's second martial soul. Her second martial soul seems to be a very rare physical martial soul. Wait, is this little girl a twin martial soul? Guangling's expression finally changed, an indescribable shock. At present, he only knows two twin martial souls, one is no longer alive, and the other is the former saint of the Martial Soul Hall and the current Pope Bibi Dong of the Martial Soul Hall. Is this the third twin martial soul in front of me? His family's Xiaoxue is quite good at picking up children. Wait a moment, what did Xiaoxue say behind her earlier? What is her second martial soul? A rare physical martial soul. End of this chapter.